Okay, so you want to know how to link MailChimp to Divi. This is how you do it. You're going to open up the visual builder on one of your pages or create a new page. And we're going to actually add a module somewhere in that page. So you want to add a section, rows, and then a module by clicking on this gray circle. Now, I want to scroll down to email opt-in. Now, whether you decide to keep it or not is up to you. But I add my opt-in and at the moment, I've got this hideous looking green and white opt-in over there. So what I need to do to actually link up MailChimp is scroll on down to email account. And then I can choose a provider. At the moment, it's already on MailChimp, but I click the drop down, choose MailChimp and select a list. There's actually nothing there. So what I do is I click add and it asks me for an account name and an API key. I'm gonna say MailChimp list one or whatever you want to call it is totally fine. And then we head over to MailChimp. So I need to log into my MailChimp account and scroll down the bottom left to here. And I'm gonna to go to accounts and billing in that menu. I go up the top here to extras and API keys. And I have a series of keys down the page here. And these are all keys I actually use. Now you can go ahead and just select one of these and copy. But if you don't have one, simply click create a key. And you'll notice at the top, you have a new API key. Simply highlight that, right click to copy, tab back and click paste and then submit. And now when you select your list, you have MailChimp list one and the option to go from there. And even if I decide to X and remove this module altogether, I'm gonna exit the visual builder and we're just gonna cut ahead a little bit, discard. If I go in again, enable a visual builder and I decide to add my email opt-in over here, I scroll down to email account and it's still there. So that's pretty much how that works. And if you click on it, you can choose to remove. You can also fetch lists if you have updated that account and you wanna update it here on your computer, sorry, on your website. And if you want to, you can just remove that and confirm that the account will be removed. So that's how you add and remove MailChimp from your Divi website. Like I said, you don't need to keep that email opt-in form. This is just how I do it, nice and easy. And uh, yeah, I hope you found it useful. All right, thanks for watching the video and I hope to see you again soon.